Mayweather talks a lot about hard work and dedication, and that has been the root of this light heavyweight contender getting back to a championship fight. We'll see what he does with it here tonight, John. He's a grinder, John. And you knew that he would get back here. You knew that he would find a way to put himself right back on the verge of becoming the man. He has seen it before. He has done it. He has been here. He recognizes and knows that the change is necessary. We're done in the gym. He's ready. He's prepared. He's sure. He knows in his mind that by the end of the night, Championship and there was a time when this division was top heavy. Now the top 15 is absolutely loaded. He has emerged out of that pack. We'll see if he becomes the new champion. expeditiously rise to mixed martial arts superstardom. But how about Alex Pereira? Crosses over into mixed martial arts from kickboxing and essentially takes the sport by storm. By storm, John. I mean, so fast to go from a guy that was what can be to the champion. But when you possess this level of skill, when your kickboxing is second to none, and then you train with Glover, you develop wrestling defense, you know that you have a chance. Pereira not only had a chance, took it all the way to the title and tonight he looks to get another victory he's seemingly a perfect mix of intensity and composure he has heart championship medal alex Pereira, the total package we're certainly glad he's here in the ufc Heavyweight title fight. Gears, first buff. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. Free for this one. All right, here we go with round one. Alex Poetan Pereira, one of the best strikers, pound for pound in all of mixed martial arts. Outstanding power in his hands, of course. His left hook has that undeniable death touch. But we've got our eyes on the calf kicks here tonight. He believes that that is going to be a weapon that can change the complexion of this entire fight. We'll see if Pereira gets after it. Early. Well, every MMA fight begins on the feet, and that is music to the ears of Alex Pereira, who has found a home for that left hook early. I mean, that's the best shot, man. We have seen Alex Pereira land this left hook in kickboxing to finish Israel Adesanya, and also inside the octagon where he knocked out Sean Strickland. It is such a powerful strike, and Pereira is a master of it. Oh, there's that low kick. That'll leave a mark. Great job moving into his opponent and getting to that single call time. Oh, here comes the kick. That one blocked by Pereira. Straight punch there again. Been there all night. Right to the target. Let's see if his opponent 
can survive. I cannot believe that he is still standing after taking that ball. All right, so the overhand has certainly been a big weapon for him here tonight. Look for him to go right back to it here if he can find an opening. Both fighters throwing heat now. Oh, nice jab by Roundtree Jr. Oh, roundhouse kick. Add that to his highlight reel. Another nice kick there. Solid series of kicks. They're all landing now. Well, you gotta think he might be trying to set up that overhand again. He's got to hold for it all night long. Let's see if that holds true. A huge strike lands there, DC. He landed that massive shot. Now he needs to try to find the next shot, the follow-up shot, that will finish the fight. Beautiful. Again, going back to the jab just out of range. Oh, nice little right hook there. Oh, nice. That knee attempts his blocks. Oh, that's a good step like this. Just over two minutes, round one. Nice loop and punch. Oh, solid kicks are landing. He has most certainly found the range on the feet. All right, so Alex Pineda getting it done with his striking as usual, realizing success low with the kicks and certainly up top with the hands. John, whenever you accomplish all that he accomplished in kickboxing, you expect him to be a high-level striker. But the way that he has adapted his style to mix martial arts... Land right there, his opponent's wobble champ. He's hurt bad. He cannot take another shot like that. Oh, that's a big right hand that's on his way. Oh! Oh, he hurt him again. And that one certainly found the target. All right, so some definite damage underneath the elbow now on the side of his opponent. A lot of strikes to the body starting to start to add up. Yeah, a lot of strikes to the body and mixing up the attack, not being one-dimensional, not headhunting inside the octagon. I, I think he has fought beautifully right now, and it's starting to show itself. Oh! He's hurt bad. All right, looks as though that strike maybe opened up a cut around the eye area. Yeah, it looks like that strike opened up a cut, John, but it's nothing to worry about now, but he's got to start to protect it. So pretty good recovery by the opponent after getting stunned pretty good. Got to capitalize on those opportunities. I mean, you can't waste these opportunities. You don't get them as often as you'd like. So when you get a guy hurt, you got to find a way to finish the fight. Oh, perfect head kick there. Twenty seconds to go. Oh, the roundhouse kick lands. Nice body shot there. Wow, huge head kick. Oh, yes. On both sides in round one. All right, so that's the end of the round. Potential adversity here. He's got a cut on his cheek sustained from that strike in the round. Now the focus becomes maximizing these 60 seconds, shutting that cut and preventing it from becoming a major factor here moving forward. All right, there's the end of the round. So it was a huge strike to the head that stunned his opponent and, and nearly got him out of there. Yeah, that was a big moment. A big strike lands, his opponent's on wobbly legs. That is exactly what, what you want to see as you're walking back to your stool. Your opponent staggering back to his corner and being hopeful that he can get it back together before the start of the next round. Ready, fight. Ready. Round two on the way. Nice jab. Back to the overhand left, no good. Barely missed there. Leg kick lands. 
So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Just missed with the leg kick. Oh, huge kick to that lead leg. Man, that is loud. Another strike lands for the kickboxer. He really found that flow state pretty early in this fight, and he hasn't looked back. He found it really loud. Oh, picture-perfect shot there, DC, and one more of those, he might be out. I mean, the fight is going to be over. I can't believe he's still standing. That shot landed perfect. Absolutely the hurt business. It's hard to see which party is more injured, but I think both fighters have been really affected with their strikes in this one. Yeah, both guys have been affected. Both guys have been beat up. It's a very competitive fight. Let's see who has the heart to carry them through these very tough moments. Oh, they're trying to shots here. We'll see who's the last man standing. Well, the more things change, the more they stay the same. He continues to land a high volume of strikes on his opponent. Well, I mean, John, the guy can fight everywhere. And he can fight He landed it perfectly. Perfect placement. Perfect position. What a huge blow in a big moment in this fight. Watch for him to set up that hook again now. Well, DC kind of just playing with him at this point, right? You think he's got to go in and just get him out of there. Well, he's trying, but he gets a little bit anxious. So he starts to throw a lot of punches and not the right punches. And because he's throwing so much, he keeps missing. Oh! Both tough, both durable, both unwilling to take a step back. What a phenomenal fight. Oh! Trees kick to the body, that one blocked. Ooh, looking to go to the leg kick here, just out of range. Focus is attacking that cut, and man, it's getting bad now. A lot of blood flowing. Yeah, as it should be. Right? He should be focused on getting to that cut, making his opponent pay. He did the work. He opened up the cut. Now it's on him to continue on the path and make the ringside position come in here and try to stop this fight. But Aid is bleeding from the mouth. Daniel looks as though there's a cut on his lip. Thankfully, he's a lot tougher than I am. Under a minute to go. Take down defenses there. Looks like someone took a red sharpie to his side. A lot of bruising courtesy of those body strikes. Well, big kicks, big punches. He's doing everything he told us he intended to do. To oh! Pretty good jab there by Roundtree Jr. And now Leather being thrown on both sides. 15 seconds remain in the round. Oh, he's had a huge strike right there. I'm not sure how many more of these his opponent can take. Massive shot that he landed. Great job. Oh! Oh, entertaining scrap so far. All right, so the round is over, and you see the cut man not wasting any time as the fighter makes his way back to the stool. The cut man will try to shut that cut on the bridge of his nose and prevent it from becoming a factor here moving forward. All right, so there's the horn signifying the end of the round. We had a knockdown there, but not a knockout. No, it wasn't a knockout, but you can't take those shots. That big punch landed, and it sat him down. If he gets hit with another one of those, it might be good night, Irene.
Ready to fight? Ready. Go. Here we go, third round of this championship fight. All right, so next round underway here, and you gotta admire the stamina that both of these guys still exuded towards the end of that round. Both men put a particular focus on their cardiovascular commitment in this training camp, and it's clearly paid dividends here tonight. We have two legitimately fresh fighters here as we hit this next round. Leg kick checked effectively there by Roundtree Jr. Trying to do damage now with the kick. That's a miss. But that is keeping those feet in perpetual motion, circling to his right now. Leg kicks all day. His mobility is compromised. Might get it back a little bit as the fight continues, but that's an obvious limp right now. Well, it's going to take ice on the calf, ice on the thigh, when he gets to the corner to try and bring it back. But once you get dead leg, there's not much you can do. Fighters exchange in the pocket here. Well, perhaps it's a high fight IQ, perhaps it's obvious, but he is attacking that cut that is getting deeper by the minute. And it seems like the right decision because you can see his opponent. Big strike lands. Big strike lands. Now he looks to try to chase down that pitch. He's hurting him bad, man. That right hook is nasty. Looking for that left hand, not there. Oh, he gets tagged again, nice combination. Oh, he's got the single collar locked in the clinch now. Just over three minutes to go in round three. Overhand punch to the head, blocked though by Roundtree Jr. Oh! Big shots exchanged in the pocket there. Well, he is really starting to apply a lot of pressure here down the stretch. Not as much offense earlier in the fight. He is making up for lost time now. Good jab there by Sam. That jab is fast. Look at that jab. All right, well, that blow is bossing from that cut with each strike landed, and he continues to effectively target that area. You know, we are talking about a guy with a super high fight IQ. So when you give him that blood, that crimson red is nothing more than something that inspires him to continue doing what he's doing. So you have got to change. Oh! He has to evade Stan's base. Now we're going. This beautiful kick lands. Well, from a striking standpoint, he has put it all together tonight. He has landed a ton of significant strikes in. Pretty easy fight, I would think, for the judges to score. It's a pretty easy fight to score. Tonight was a night where everything went right. Oh, one of the best head kicks you'll ever see. You don't really stand after you take a head kick like this. That is such toughness to even be on his feet right now. All right, so a good series of kicks by him there. He has mixed it up beautifully, I think, on the feet tonight. He is kicking everywhere tonight. He's doing a fantastic job. And a miss with the right hook. That's one way to upset the equilibrium. Nice high kick. Defensively responsible. Nice block. All right, less than a minute here to go now in round three. Back to his feet. Oh, he continues to land a high number of strikes in this round. Really hasn't let up. Oh, what a connection by him there. His opponent could be out of here soon, DC. He's almost done. I mean, when you get hit with a shot like that, you don't know whether to run, hide, grab, or wrestle. He's a, he, I mean, he's confused. He's as confused as he was on his first test in elementary school. Oh! He's got to try to finish here. Oh. Collar tie here in the clinch. Always oh busy here in the clinch. Oh Lands a nice punch there. Oh. 
time. That's three rounds. We're now headed to the championship round. All right, so there's the end of the round. You see the blood trickling down as he makes his way back to the stool. Cut on the bridge of the nose, or so it appears from the strike in that round. Cut man getting right to work. All right, there's the end of the round. We'll show you some of the highlights. It must feel pretty damn good to knock a man down like that. It feels good to knock a man down. And most times, you don't even feel it. It's the ones that you don't even recognize that landed hard are the ones that usually put your opponent out. It landed right on the sweet spot, and he hurt his opponent very badly. Ready to fight? Ready. Fourth round now. Fight scheduled for five five-minute rounds. All right, so here we go. You can feel the tension. Fourth round is underway. We'll see who has the upper hand. You feel it inside of the arena. The fighters feel it inside of the octagon. It's palpable. The energy is crazy because you understand that in the next 10 minutes, someone's going to get a belt strapped around their waist. It's amazing. Well, most fighters can't keep up this type of aggression and pace, but you don't have to worry about this guy. He hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. Oh, nice job to block that punch. These ground strikes are just brutal. Good body language from his opponent here at DC. He's curled up. No, he's exhausted. He's been beaten. All right, half guard position for him here, and I can hear Dominic Cruz in the back of my head just screaming about underhooks somewhere. Yeah, he loved. I mean, but he's right, right? He's so right in terms of if you're on your back in the half guard, one thing you can't be is flat on your back. You need to be up on an elbow. Right. You need to be half on the side, and you need to control the far side underhook. It is a battle for underhook when you're fighting in the half guard position on the mat. Drops down inside the now closed guard of his opponent. Let's see how patient he is as he attacks a submission or big ground and pound. Well, he continues to manhandle him here on the ground. But eight is in half guard, making all these shots count. That was a slick transition. Might be a submission attempt here, champ. I mean, you cannot sit in a full guard. When you sit in the full guard, you give these guys so many opportunities. All right, he's in a half guard position here, DC, and in a good spot to dole out a lot. Guillotine attempt now looks as though he's got the neck. That guillotine is very tight. Oh, how good is that as he gets out? That is great submission defense, keeping everything short and not allowing his opponent to get the submission victory. Roundtree's nose is just pouring blood right now. I'm no doctor, Daniel, but I'm not sure that thing isn't broken right now. This is a terrible position. He's a lot of good movement. Under two minutes here to go round four. All right, a good ground and pound by him here, certainly staying busy, and not just busy, but effective. You can just throw punches to keep the referee off you. This guy is throwing punches to be effective, to throw damaging strikes. He's doing a fantastic job. Lands the ground and pound strike. Another ground and pound strike lands for this man. All right, has the guard closed here. Wow, he is landing time and time again on that cut. Well, that was a high-level extended battle on the ground. Now, though, the athletes back to their feet, and no surprise, the crowd responds. Oh! That is it! Alex Pereira with one of the greatest knockouts you will see! Holy...
And we go inside the octagon. Bruce Buffer has your official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at three minutes, 50 seconds of round number four. Declaring the winner by knockout and still the undisputed UFC light heavyweight champion of the world, Alex Hoatai. Wow, what else can you say about Alex Pereira? We have called most of his UFC fights, but another knockout tonight. This dude's just devastating. I mean